Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Sir Astro's Star Wars Shatterpoint painting series. In this video, I'll be painting Gar Saxon and the Mandalorian Super Commandos from Atomic Mass Games' Star Wars Shatterpoint. As usual, I've taken inspiration from the Clone Wars series to help inform my approach to painting the figures, and will be using many of the same colours and techniques that I used back in episode 2 for Bo Katan and the Clan Kree's Mandalorians. Let's begin. You can see that I primed the figures in black, followed with some grey and white Xenothal highlights applied from above, and I chose to go with the helmeted option for Gar Saxon, along with the rifle. I'm starting by painting the black parts of the outfit using a mix of graphene grey and black. There is some variation amongst the Super Commandos in terms of the placement of the red and black areas, so you should feel free to mix things up as you like. I decided not to glue this Super Commando to the rocket pack just to allow me easier access to the back of the model. Next I'm going to use an equal mix of Griff Charger Grey and Bacilla Carnum Grey to paint all of the armoured parts of the models, along with the jetpacks. This gives us quite a pleasing look that can be left as it is if you don't fancy adding non-metallic metal style highlights. We can of course soak up excess paint from places like the top of the helmet, which we want to appear more highlighted. Once dry, we have the bases for a nicely worn metallic look. Because Gar Saxon's armour is somewhat darker, approaching more of a black tone, I decided to add a second layer. I'm now thinning some black Templar with some Griff Charger Grey and using this to paint the weapons. I'm now going to paint the red markings on the armour, and I'm using the scale colour reds to do this. I'm starting with the kneeling Super Commando, where I'm first using deep red to paint the more shadowed parts of the helmet. To create a somewhat chipped and weathered appearance, I'm doing some stippling and deliberately leaving some gaps to allow the grey tones to show through. I'm 
I'm now using blood red as we move towards the upper half of the helmet. And I'm using Antares red for the very top. I'm also going a little brighter for the lower part of this side panel. And I'm now painting the other red parts of the armour. This is just as much fun as it looks. I'm also carefully painting this trim. I'm now painting the others in the same way. There are also a couple of places where I chose to apply some dark lining. I'm using mainly blood red for most of these markings on Gar Saxon. Here I'm just mixing a grey tone to make some small corrections on the helmets where the lines are pretty thin. And I'm now going to draw on the distinctive black helmet markings on the Super Commandos.
Next I'm providing a pure white undercoat for the various little lights. For Gar Saxon's glowing visor, I used a white ink, which I felt would flow more easily into the recesses. We can then paint over the white using whatever fluorescence tones you like. Here I'm using the orange light and yellow pigments by Hera Models, which I'm mixing with some matte varnish. For the visor, I started off quite yellow, then brushed some more orangey tones on selectively to create a bit of variation. And here I'm just doing a little tidying up. I'm now returning to the black parts of the outfits, where I'm simply highlighting up to pure graphene grey from the graphene grey and black base tone. I've decided to go just a little lighter by mixing in some white sands for my brightest highlights. I don't mind a bit of a textured finish here. After painting the bases, I'm now painting the rocket trails as detailed in episode 2, by simply applying some fiery fluorescent tones over a white undercoat, shifting from a pale yellow at the top to a bright orange further down. I'm once again using the Hera Models pigments for this, but any bright yellow and orange tones would be fine. Then, once completely dry, we can brush some grey tones over the top for the smoke, leaving some little gaps where we want the fiery colour to show through. I'm now gluing the Super Commando into place. And you can go as high up the trail with the smoke colours as you like. At this point the figures are looking more than good enough to hit the table. If you'd like to take things further, we could add some non-metallic metal style highlights to the armour. And I'm using a bluish grayscale to do that, with some vanilla white mixed in for the brighter highlights. So here I'm creating some little gradients to add interest, and I'll be sharpening up most of the edges. I'm still after quite a battle-worn look however, so I'll be introducing some roughness and texture whilst I work.
I'm also freely adding some additional bits of chipping. Here I'm adding a bit of a scratchy texture, then toning things down with a thinned dark grey. I'm also providing a few quick highlights to the weapons. And this completes Gar Saxon and the Mandalorian Super Commandos. Thank you for joining me, I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. As usual you can find full product lists in the video description, along with links to my website as well as where I can be found on Instagram, Facebook and Spotify. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Shatterpoint. Happy painting!